Hello, this is Paul from Plaza Tech. In this video, let's prove theorem 2.1.2, uh, which is the determinant of a triangular matrix. And the, the theorem states, for any triangular matrix, no matter the upper triangular, lower triangular, or diagonal, and the result of the determinant is super simple. It's just the product of the entries on the main diagonal. Okay, all the entries come together. Uh, the proof for either case are the same. So, hmm, let's prove uh, a lower triangular. Is that okay? Let's prove a lower triangular. Uh, you know, if we transpose the lower triangular, we get an upper triangle, right? Okay, so if you prove the lower and then the upper triangular is the same. Of course, the diagonal is just a special case. Of the lower triangle, so it's the same, right? So let's say uh, proof. Let's uh, set up it as this matrix, uh, which is the first row a one one, the second a two one, a two two, and then the third I cannot. Then the second to last is n minus one one a m minus one two uh, goes to a m minus one m minus one. The last should be zero. Okay, and then the last is a n n uh, sorry a m one a n two da, 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 goes to uh, here is a and m minus one, a and n, no problem, right? Okay, so this is the diagonal, and all other is or zero, so let's just put a zero. So here is a zero, here is a zero, or the zero here, and the same here is all others or zero. Let me put a big zero. So this is the case for a lower triangle. matrix and how to find the determinant so we know the cofactor expansion so we can do what we can expand okay see we can expand by the last column can we yes uh, we can expand uh, by the last column by the nth column okay so why we expand it by this way? Because there are a lot of zero and only one non-zero, right? Okay, so therefore we use the cofactor expansion. Therefore, the determinant of A should be because the zero I can know, I only pick the last one, which is A N N times what? Times C N N the cofactor, right? So the cofactor equals minor N N because and the, the entries on the diagonal, the sign is positive, and plus n is even number. And then I put, <clears throat> what is m and n? Imagine, m and n, yeah, I definitely know. m and n, which is a card, okay, card at the column of a n, and card at the row of a n, what do we have? It's just here. See? This is the minor, right? This is the minor of M and N. Okay, so I put it. Therefore, I put here should be this one, the determinant now. Oh. So let me put it A and N times. The determinant now, I get them in this way. Okay. You remember, so here, a lower triangular matrix, so which is A11. A21, A22, uh, the, the, the last is AM minus 1, 1, AM minus 2, oops, sorry, M minus 2, 2, and then the last is AM minus 1, M minus 1, and then the determinant. Okay, and then what is there? It's all zero. 
this all zero. Uh, let me put it the last. Can you see? So that's a here. I should be zero. So here's the zero, and the all other is just a zero. Imagine. See, that is similar with the buffer. Okay. Uh, so the same. We do the same way. Expand it, right? So again, expand it by this color, the last color. <clears throat> again. So expand by the last color. Okay. Whatever the color. Uh, so you need to pick a one number and then times the minor again. The minor should be this is the minor. Imagine. Okay, so this the minor should be M. Um, N minus one, M minus one. Okay, of this number. Okay. See. So therefore, we find the pattern, right? So this equals A and N times A. N minus one, M minus one. Okay, and then times the minor. M, M minus one, M minus one. We don't need to exactly the right because the, this minor, you see the pattern. It's always uh, lower triangular and the size gets smaller and smaller. Okay, and then step by step, what do we, what do we get? Do the same, repeat the procedure. See, repeat, and then repeat the procedure. Okay, so what do we get? So we should finally, da, 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 should we get it? A and N times A, N minus 1, N minus 1, and uh, then what? And then times A, N minus 2, N minus 2, right? Times m and minus two and minus two and then goes on until the last. Imagine the last should be what is it? Hmm, the last imagine should be a uh, three when we stop at a three uh, three. So we left it should it be m three three right? So m three three. What is m three three? Okay. What is m three three? Of course, I know M33 is this A11, A21, A22. This is, is zero. And therefore, it goes A11, A22 already. Because we learned that therefore put it together. And then switch the order. So you get A11 times A22 times A33. Da, 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 da. So it's to the end. And switch the order. Okay. That's the proof, right? Because determine the final equals the product of the uh, of the entries on the diagonal. Thank you.